Hello everybody and welcome back to Valhalla. I am the Outback Al and someone was, was uh, we were adjusting the mic and someone else was very impatient. Yes, I am. Deal with it. Who else is here? We're picking music. Yes, we are. No one else is here Can't right now. No, one. <laughs> no one's here. If you don't know who we are by now, I don't care. <laughs> so, we can't hear any of this right now because we have to, for things of, of reasons, we can't hear it. For technical purposes. Yeah. We didn't have enough headphones. Um, We're checking out the bar. Uh, jukebox. Yeah. This is our jukebox. Okay, Cheeps, is there any rhyme or reason to the ones you chose? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully just, they're good. Just because. Time to mix drinks and change lives. I didn't know Darman had a bar. Oh, who wants to be this dude? Hey, you. Give me a beer. Oh, sure. Right on it. Beer. Easy. My name. What is beer? Beer. <laughs> beer is not I'm a mixed so drink. What? We have to make the beer? Here's the thing. So, alcohol as we know it no longer exists. This is why we have Karmatrine to add to the drinks that we're making in order to make them alcoholic. Does that make sense? But doesn't beer need fermentation? God, no wonder they have to turn to drinking. It's just called beer. Nothing is real here. Like, I don't this is like all this synthetic. <laughs> oh, synthetic beer? Yeah. Traditionally, brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. Fuck. Yep, all mixed. Give it a short one. You don't want to have beer shaken too much. Okay. Just, Here oh, we that, go. That looks still carbonated. No, oh, no. This isn't going to cut it. Give me a big one. Um, sure. He didn't specify that. I think he realized afterwards, like, yeah, yeah this isn't going to be enough. Yeah. So. All right, so we just double Two up everything. Two Paddlehide, four Bronson Extract, two Powder Delta, uh, four Lanergide, and, and eight, eight Carmatrine. Oh, we're going to get so much Carmatrine. We're going to get you so fucking Five, six, drunk. Seven. There we go. How about this one? Ah, uh, yes. Now this one's fit for a man like me. Oh, shut the fuck up. Right. He's got a mustache. I think he knows what he's talking about. Uh-huh, sure. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Ooh. He looks like Steve Harvey, but he don't sound like him. <laughs> no. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes. Like in Jersey, in New Jersey 3. Oh god, they made two sequels to New Jersey? <laughs> huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson. J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> Chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Oh god. What? We're he is J. Jonah. to get an article published about us. I, can, you, can you talk a little faster? Oh, yeah, it's published here unless I tell him. Nothing is published there without my blessings. <laughs> you will lower than that. Jesus. Oof. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. I so, need pictures of Spider Man. We, Sir, we publish poems. They can read poems about Spider Man. <laughs> so you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea is some loyal wildcard hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money. And money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars. And houses. And plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Why do the kids need surgery? <laughs> now this just starts just started sounding like Cave Johnson. Well, I don't want your damn lemons. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the hacker. Just that you write about them every single day. That's a Spider-Man. Yeah. Some of it isn't even news. Just speculation or copycats. 
I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. Do you pay them? No. The poor bastards think it'll help make uh, them full-time employees. Sir, can you pay me in advance? <laughs> I'm sorry, that caught me off guard. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna cut that in. Oh, man, you, you don't bring in Sam Raimi trilogy memes and just get away with it. Ugh. Oh, God. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. Ah. Uh. And second, you're tearing a one article about a supposed hacker, but not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors. Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as it is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to that list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get dis... dis People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing you repeatedly. Oh god, this is Trump's America. <laughs> well, I mean, as someone who works in the journalism industry, what he's saying is not too far off at all. No, it, all no it, just the fact that he couldn't say it. Desensitized? Yeah. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now... You need an elderly woman carrying a stick, a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That is, that, that's sadly true, unfortunately. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about, and you can make up any shit you want. I mean, that is also true. Cheeps, what year did this game come out? 2016. Spam them while they're hot, and even people like you. People who avoid the murder stories will see him. That brings money. And like I said, money's good. Huh. I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. Well, what was I taking a little too far? <laughs> Jesus. I, just, I feel it's like that's not the opinion. What, though? That's not really the opinions column. It's just like the comments section. Because, <laughs> like, some sodomization can be good. It depends on what you do it with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part about that is that they know half of our clicks come from them. Here's so the they thing. get all dr drip diva like on my ass. At that point, is it sodomy or is it masturbation? Um, no, I think anything up the butt is considered sodomy. Meh. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See? The kid on the restaurant critique column... Uh... Uh... Shit, I forgot that kid's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. And you don't just fire him? I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. I feel like you have grounds to fire him. Yeah. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. That's literally, you just define someone not doing their job. Mm -hmm. You can fire him yeah. and get someone who will do it. I, I've even heard he tries to get free meals before claiming that he's on that he's a food critic. I think that might be illegal. It is illegal. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. Okay, well that's kind of good. Is he related? Is he related to? I've got I got what money. Is says his he's, name? He's I can be only a... think of Jonah Jameson. Donovan. 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 I think he's probably gonna be like his nephew or something. Yeah, like he has to be related. It's nepotism. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. 
Did he look like a fat chat with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Give me another beer this time. Come right up. I'm gonna just make him a big one again anyway. Might as well. And also, I don't, maybe this paper's different because they're used to it, but I remember in the old paper that I worked at, the obituary for some of the most read stories we had in a given month because people mm -hmm. like to know who died. I mean, your people county like has kind of like a, does it have a higher, like, elderly population? Western PA in general has a very high... Um, yeah, I uh, know that, so yeah, that would bring gonna, those up a little bit. We're going to have to bleep that out. They know we're in Western PA. I mean, I guess. Do so. Know. I think we've mentioned it before. I'll yeah. cut it out if we need to. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Shut up. <laughs> Did I steal your kid? <laughs> Right. He likes that stuff and gets some money. So, tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Other than you, sir, mm -hmm. I, I was a big fan of Family Feud. <laughs> Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. Shh, Lucky McCoy can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> no. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, a soup, soap, yeah, soap and dog <laughs> piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. Isn't it good that the place smells a little good. like soap? But I mean, it means we clean regularly. No, if it still smells like dog piss. So, we're you trying it to clean, clean it. well. We're trying. Gillian, read your line. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. <laughs> Who is that? Nobody important. <laughs> hey, I heard that. <laughs> As someone that used to clean bathrooms at a convenience store, or at a grocery store, I can emphasize with him. Mm. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You could think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. Charming. So, celebrities? Not really. At least, not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You talking about yourself? <laughs> You're not making me feel special, honey. Uh-oh. Well, first of all, don't fucking call me honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Does this look like the kind of place that would have that kind of kind tell to you? Obviously not, since you called it a fucking hellhole. I feel like he went southern, so you're automatically going southern too. Yes. <laughs> Stop we, that. We, I, I, it, it just, it just happens. Those, <laughs> those, those, those folks, people, those folks, people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love, fall from grace. Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for daring to be such more successful than them. <laughs> wow. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. Depends on the person, because I hate gossip magazines. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. That's true. Not always. I would really rather not be them. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. Come on, everyone knows. People want to be Britney Spears so bad. Not really. I would... To be living the life that Britney Spears has been living for the past how many years? No thanks. No, it's definitely what everyone's <laughs> going for. Ugh. Those goals. Not my goals. No thank you. I want to be a cat. Legal <laughs> slavery sounds great. Ugh. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? Does God know who? I don't know. Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. 
Oh, please, as a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Excuse you, you're the ones who open your fucking mouths. Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. It, even I, I'm if, sorry, have you seen a hairdresser? I don't think he <laughs> needs to. <laughs> How do you know anything about hairdressers? I don't know. It, even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Hmm. This sounds kind of defensive on Jill's part. Maybe, maybe it's my tone. <laughs> Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury that they can think of. I mean, if they have the money, I guess you can't stop them. Yeah. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Not really. I, I mean, I could care less. I think most of the public, unfortunately, is like that. I mean, you know, yeah. paparazzi and stuff whenever like somebody, that. Whenever somebody, whenever somebody, whenever a celebrity makes a mistake, they always want to get canceled, oh, yeah. and then. It's like, well, humans make mistakes and they can learn from it. But nope, if you're a celebrity. I mean, that's more the mindset now. It didn't used to always be that way. I think it's always been that way just some extent with celebrities. Maybe. Well, uh, maybe say. they people thought about it back in the day, but obviously social media is a big yeah. thing now. Yeah. So it's, more so. it's pretty much. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. It's parasocial relationships, oh no. <laughs> to be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, Brad? <sighs> well, two can play that game of... Of... You drank two very big beers, sir. Can you talk properly? I thought he was supposed to be a wordsmith. He owns a paper. That doesn't mean he knows how to That's talk. That's irony. <laughs> hmm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, dear dweet Jesus. You have two beers and you already need to cut him off. No. No. If they're like two big 20 to 30 ounce beers, that can hit you pretty big. I mean, depends on how much of a lightweight he is. Either he's way, I... White girl yeah. wasted. <laughs> okay, he's white girl wasted, and we're heading out to, to do something else. We'll see you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!